let's try folks today we are using the Vitus Escarp okay this is the bike that we will be trying out today and this one here has some changes and the changes would be ah, sorry the changes would be simple things like the uh, what do you call that XT so I've changed this to full XT brakes 203 front 180 at the back four port front and back and I'm using the XT rear derailleur I'm not too sure whether you can see it <laughs> there you go XT derailleur um, what else did I change on this one I've updated I've heightened the, uh, the dropper post using a 150 for this one instead and then after which I've done up the the things which uh, you know kids would do which is to color coordinate the bike with all the purpley bits all right nothing else i'll change on this bike um everything else i'll store is the same as i mentioned the only thing different would be the xt rear derailleur as well as the um 11 to 50 SRAM gx cassette so the reason why i did this was because previously when i had this xt on another bike on my transition spur it didn't change properly so right now i'm going to do some sort of an experiment to see whether the xt will flow nicely with the gx rear de uh, rear cassette um nothing else changed so far as i mentioned the brakes front and back uh using the xt as well not too sure whether you've seen this one the xt from the picture but there you go that's how the xt looks like well i'm sure you know but 180 rear and then the XD there on a 203 front. All right, folks, so let's try this one out today. Um, weight changes as previous was not much. In fact, literally almost uh, close to nail because previously I was on a GX anyways. Um, but my brakes were the MT5s, if I'm not mistaken. So the MT5 is going on another bike, which is hopefully going to be built up soon. All right, folks, so let's see how this bike goes i'm going to do my ride review a quick test loop as usual and my usual test loop so let's see whether it will do what it needs to do i hope it can perform better than usual all right guys nice weather today here in singapore not too sunny not too cloudy as well Alright, so it looks like a clear path. Let's try it today, folks. Alright, so this is the Vita Scarp 39, 21, size small. This previously on a what do you call that? Mazoche. That was my first uh, test ride. This one here is on a 36. Uh, minor changes here and there. Not so much on my previous ride though. Yeah. Uh, I think it will be same kind of a ride as per my transition I was absolutely knackered fat put on weight As you can hear from my panting, I am out of shape. Very out of shape. The ice cup is a reasonably heavy bike, yeah? Not exactly the lightest. Uh. 
So unlike the transition spur. This S Top 29 is a 140 rear and I have mated this with a 160 front. So off the bat, without a doubt, unfortunately, the 36 box I've got on me, it performs better than the Z2. Just those little bump sensitivity, you know, you can feel it. Uh, you know the comfort, you know the handling, the stiffness, although the stiffness actually something which I still can't seem to decipher between the Mazoche as well as the Fox because the new Mazoches are, you know, basically past season foxes. The rock stock, however, is relatively more, you know, flexy than a fox. So climbing up, how does it feel with the 160? Uh, slight difference. There's no wet penalty though, because the mazoche is heavier. 36 is marginally lighter. Let's go down. The down on this is actually more confidence, more confidence inspiring. You know, 140, heavier, all this stuff. Mike! Fast sections. Jump! Jump! People here to go right. <laughs> Don't have the skill. So if you go left, have to get wrong. If you go left, nothing will go wrong. Okay. You see? The amount of tiredness. I have to speak properly. <sighs> so this is heading towards Singapore's famous climb in Buritima Stair Way to Heaven It used to be a massive bitch to climb this because it used to be stairs That's the name, see? Through the years they've managed to change it So it's quite a sharp um, incline on that one, excuse me, incline on that one So Let's see if I'm able to climb today on this bike, okay? Uh, the gear is approximately the third, large, third largest cog. I'm using a 30 in the front. Right. Hi, man. Hey, Hi. same bike. Let's try to climb today. Mini and SS on the rear. DHR in the front. Nope. Slip. Tires. Could be skill. But I'm sure it's tires this time. Alright. So that is your stairways to heaven. 
Could have cleared it with better tires or better whatever. But I'm sure it's the tires, as I mentioned. <laughs> Let's go up. So my transition spur is using an Ardent. Recon, I beg your pardon. Or is it Ardent? And whilst it's lighter, nice to climb, I struggled on the up because maybe it was damp. But today on the S, it's doing fine. So, this is heading towards the end of the trail. So, uh, for those who've just watched me, I like this section, this test trail section to me because it's got nice climbs, it's got nice downs, it's got turns, it's got everything. Fire road, tarmac, it's there. Not exactly the longest, I think it's only about two kilometers, but damn, it's still tiring. All right, guys, it's coming to a close soon. I'll try to master whatever energy I've got and hopefully be able to ride better for you, okay? Here goes nothing. Ah. some reason there was more confidence inspiring than the spur don't know why yeah ah Wall ride, mini. Smallest wall ride ever. Let's drop the ears. Ah. Well, there you go, folks. Quick test loop on the right review. Long term ish. With, you know, changed parts consistently. I hope you enjoy that. Tune in for more. And uh, always remember no bike is a shit bike as long as it makes you, oh my god, not pen, smile. Smile! Eric FNT. Take a look at my video again. See you guys soon, bye.